What's up everybody, Thani here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be fishing with artificial shrimp and live shrimp. I was throwing live shrimp earlier for about 10 minutes or so. Not a single bite on it, so I switched to DOA shrimp and I was whacking the trout, man. We're out here at one of my favorite spots for the wintertime fishing, crushing the trout right now. They're pretty decent size, 18, 19 inches average. So we're gonna get on some more and hopefully we catch other species of fish. Let's see what happens. Alright man, we're getting destroyed by pinfish. We're gonna switch back to uh, the DOA shrimp. Let's see if we can't get us more trout. Good old DOA shrimp. Let's make something happen. Here we go. The pinfish are not gonna take that. <laughs> you can't destroy that. First fish of the day, boys. Let's go. That's a big trout right there. Stuck them pretty good. Land them over here. That's a pretty decent one there. Look at him. On the DOA shrimp. Alright, we're gonna try to land this guy. He's pretty heavy. He's probably five pounder. Four or five pounder. Oh yeah, that's big. Good old DOA shrimp, man. Can't go wrong. Look at that. Pretty solid one there, first one of the day. Oh, I'm gonna have to get my pliers for this one. Hold on buddy, I'll let you go. This don't count, does it? All right, see you, dude. Sure, why not? First one of the day, not bad. <laughs> Let's get on some more. That was the first fish of the day. I was fishing with live shrimp earlier. I got three dozen live shrimp, they get a single bite. So I went back to my truck to get the DOA shrimp. And man, hooked onto a solid trout. He was probably 18, 18 inches. Not bad. So I'm sure there's, there's gonna be more trout of that size out there. And um, we're gonna keep throwing the DOA lure. The trout are on fire right now, guys. Oh my goodness, here's another one. Another decent one. He's hooked up too, look at him. He's got one on live shrimp. I'm using artificial right now. These trout are all solid. Solid trout. Man, I just love it when they come up and just shake their yellow mouth. Look at that guy. Hopefully I don't lose him. Man, that is awesome. Look at that. The hook was jammed here just about out. Pretty cool. Look at his yellow mouth. He's got one fang. <laughs> All right, we're going to let him go. See you, dude. The current is barely moving. The water is starting to come in. But I think once that water starts ripping in, the bite should be on. I mean, they're, they're chewing right now. I don't know how long they're going to they're gonna um, feed for, but hopefully it's a long period of time because these trout are so much fun to catch, man. These guys are probably like three pounder average. You can actually see them. I can see them right, right now, like literally logs, just facing up current. I thought they're mullet for a second, but nope, they're trout. Usually the mullet, they'll move. They're, they don't They don't stay in one spot like that. So it's pretty cool. Oh my God, here's another one. Oh yeah, that's another decent one right here. <laughs> They're all that size, man. It's awesome. He inhaled that shrimp. That's a bigger one, I think. Yes, 
Yeah, it's a big one. He inhaled it, man. Look at that. What It's a trout, speckled trout. Wow, that's a he's pretty long. Leave him chomp down. Oh, out, chomp down. All right, I'm gonna have to get my pliers for this one. Hold on, buddy. Man, he slurped that up pretty good. All right, I think that's the third trout. He's pretty long. He's fat too, a little bit. Like I said, he's probably 18, 19 inches there. We're gonna let him go. He slurped up the DOA shrimp in the glow, uh, glow color. See ya. Man, so much fun. Having a blast right now. I went and got three dozen shrimp today and I ended up using a DOA shrimp. They didn't want these shrimp for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they want it to be moving. <laughs> but look at all the shrimp I got. They're not that big. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty decent, this one here. But they're chewing the artificial lure, so we're just gonna stick with the artificial shrimp. Hopefully these trout stay at one spot. I think that they're trapped right here because the water is low. They can't really go anywhere else because when it gets low out here, it gets really low. Like you can see uh, land way out there. But as you can see, it's starting to come in now slowly. Hopefully these trout stay at one spot and they don't move. Ah, I just had a nice bite, guys. So the key is to let that bait sink all the way down to the bottom. That's where these guys are. They're sitting right on, on the bottom. And it's probably like 10 feet deep. Oh, on it. There it is. Oh yeah, that's another nice one. Dude, look at that, man. Solid trout. I think this guy is, uh, I think he's about the same size. Oh my gosh, no! He's still there. Dang it. It's so hard to land them over here though. That's one of the things. Oh well. We'll get on some more. That was a solid one. Here's how I'm hooking them. Right through the tail, just like that. And just letting him swim freely. Here we go. We're gonna send it. We're not using any weights or anything. Just um, 10 pound braid and 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So it can sink down to the bottom. There's a fish, boys. Solid trout right there, man. On the live shrimp this time. Let's go over here. That's a big one. On the corner of the mouth. We're using a size 1-0 circle hook right now. Oh no, hook popped off. No way. <laughs> ah, the hook just came off. I guess he wasn't hooked that good. These shrimp are not that big, but it doesn't matter what size, man. If they're feeding, They'll still eat. So don't get discouraged. If you, can't, if you can't find a decent sized shrimp, just go with the regulars. Regulars will work just as good. That's a good one. Let's come over here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a solid one. Hopefully we don't lose this one here while I'm trying to land. Oh my God, all the time. There he goes. This one's not as big, but he's still a trout. He's not big at all, he's tiny. He inhaled it though. Hold on, buddy. Get your D hook. Look at that. Pretty decent. Oh, see you. It's 
same size. He's hooked pretty good. He shouldn't come off. Oh yeah, he feels like he's probably three pounds. Two to three pounds. That DOA. Oh, that's a solid one there. Dropped my uh, my combo and everything for this guy, but he's nice and cold. <laughs> We're really gonna switch to live bait. I had to make another cast, but I didn't get a single bite on it, so we're gonna switch it up, put a split shot on it, see if it makes a difference. The tide is um, it's getting a little bit stronger, and I feel like the eighth ounce is not really um, getting to the bottom because when I cast this out there, the current just takes it, and this is like literally floating near the surface when I when I try to work it with the wind blowing from my. Uh, my, uh, my left here. All right guys, we got our split shot and one old circle hook and a tiny shrimp. Hopefully we get one right here on the live bait. Oh yeah. On the live bait this time. It's a big one. Down now. Oh my god, look at that one. That's a solid one. He's probably 17, 18, I think. 17 inches, 18 inches. Alright, let's try to land it. This is the challenging part here. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Dude, look at that one. All right, guys, that's a solid one there. He's probably 18 inches, like I said. We're gonna release it. This one was on live shrimp with a split shot attached to the uh, the leader. See you, dude. And he's gone. Let's try to get some more. That shrimp is kicking. He's getting so nervous right now. Here's one, guys. Got a fish on. Tearing up the trout right now, man. Another another decent one right here too. He's not as big as the other one, but still very similar in size. Quickly release this guy. Again, right on the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Most of the time that circle hook is gonna get him right there. So it's easier to remove it. Alright, we're just gonna release it. There you go. See you, dude. Peace out. That's a good one there. Oh my god, that's a giant again. Oh my gosh, look at that one, guys. That's a good one. Let's not lose this guy here. Solid. Oh, he almost came off. Hold on, buddy. Man, he is so slippery. All right, look at that DOA shrimp right on the corner of the mouth. I think he chomped down on my finger a little bit. But we're gonna let this guy go. He is not in season yet. Hopefully 2021, they, um, they'll open it back up. But these guys are so much fun to catch, man. When you hook one up and you feel the weight on him and he comes up and shake his big old yellow mouth. Oh, see ya. Tore up my, uh, my thumb. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm bleeding. Don't ever lip a trout. Don't lip him. He'll tear you up. <laughs> Good old DOA shrimp. Getting the job done today. I think this shrimp outfish is the uh, live bait. Whatever works, man. Whatever works for you, just, just use it. If you like live bait and it works, then use it. Doesn't matter what it is as long as you're catching fish. So I'm just literally casting that bait up current because the, um, the water's coming in right now. It's uh it's actually getting stronger, that current. So you gotta let a lot of a lot of slack out just so that bait can sink down to the bottom. That's where the trout are gonna be sitting. Same with uh same with live bait. Put a split shot on there or like a, a quarter ounce sinker and just work that bottom man. 
Oh yeah, that's another good one. Oh my god, that one's huge, guys. That's a big one there. He's long. Long and skinny. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a solid one. Look at that big yellow mouth. So cool, man. He's hooked pretty good right on the corner of his mouth. All right, guys. We crushed the trout today. Um, if I keep fishing, we're probably gonna catch more. We probably caught like 10 trout. So we're just gonna call it. And I just wanna show you guys the uh, rod and reel combo I'm using for today. This right is a Shimano Zodius. Seven foot, six to 12 pound class, medium action. I have it paired up with the Shimano Sustain. 3,000, 10 pound Andy Black Braid, and we're using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader today. That's all you really need for the trout. And DOA shrimp and live bait. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.